So first first goal was this, like I wanted him to save some time in the reset. Then I wanted him to add a little bit of hand, little by little. So what did I do? I gave him a little, little more time and um, I asked him to step uh, backward a little that he can have a little more time but he would have to use his hand a little more to give the direction so that's what we did and after that we did a third, a third drill that he would be even further away from the table so he would have even more time but you know the goal in my mind that he, it's you would still keep the base of the reset not waiting for the reset so he would keep at this time that he can save from the from the reset and after that also i wanted him to add more and more hand that he really build more and more the confidence to really like put his hand like toward the table to really give the direction that he wanted and uh, so we did this drill like uh, a few times and then the last uh, drill we made so I wanted to to see how it worked so I we made the first drill that he was close from the table and the goal and but I was a little faster than, than the previous one than the first drill uh, close from the table and uh, I wanted to see if he could uh, use his hand a, li a little bit more and if he can be a little bit uh, more relaxed. And if you see very carefully, you can see that he he's using the hand a little more and he's a little bit more relaxed. So um, I think he did a good job. Uh, obviously, it's not like uh, from black to white directly but uh, I think that's something very important to understand that w there is so many mistakes we can make in table tennis it's so easy like to have the perfect technique is uh, is so easy and you are not going to fix the technique in just 20-25 uh, minutes so being patient is a very very important key to improve your game.